What's up YouTube? Will here with 3DF Cube. We're going to upgrade our printers today, but not in a normal fashion to print something out, slap it on, and make it run a little bit better. Today we're doing a firmware upgrade. That's still going to give us the latest and greatest to make our printers work a little bit better. So, I'm going to go into the Anycubic Mega S. So I'm going to go to the Anycubic website, anycubic3d.com. Go to their support drop down here, click on the download and video section. And I'm going to click on my printer, Anycubic Mega. Got a firmware menu right here. Click on that upgraded firmware version 1.1.3. That's going to download a compressed file. Uh, you're going to open that up, uncompress it. I put it right here on my, de my desktop. It's a uh, hex file. So you, then you're going to connect your 3D printer. Mine connects with a USB Type B cable. You can find it on Amazon for five dollars. It's a pretty cheap little cable, but my printer actually came with one, and uh, it's pretty easy to hook up. Just find it on the right-hand side of the printer there, next to where you put in your SD card. And after you're hooked up, open up Cura. You're going to go up to your Preferences tab, Configure Cura, go to the Printers, click on the one you're working with, and you're going to click on your Update Firmware, and then Upload Custom Firmware. So mine is sitting on the desktop, grab that hex file, hit Open, and that thing fires right off. So I'm not even going to cut this or speed this up at all. This is just what the pace is for this thing. It's a real quick update. It's going to give you the latest and greatest things that your printer can do. And there you go. It's that simple. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll try to get videos out to you guys every week. Trying for Sunday and Monday right now. And uh, we're going on a pretty persistent, pretty consistent schedule. So stick around and uh, watch this channel grow and watch this business grow. Alright, thanks a lot.